welcome back to the budgeting sisters i'm april and today is savings challenge sunday so let's see what we are working with today let's see how much we have in cash 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 60 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 70 71 72 73 so we have $73 that we are working with today. So let's write that in our calendar. This is Sunday. Savings challenge is $73. Um, I still need to go back and find out the amount for that day. Um, okay, so enough with that. And of course, Lilo is already over here. Oh, that cat, I tell ya. All right. $73 isn't really a lot to be doing in this. So let's see how far we can make it go. The first one we are going to do is the monthly savings tracker. And we're just gonna do $5. And I totally feel like I just like jumped right in and didn't even say hello, happy Sunday. I hope you all had a great weekend so far and got some rest. We've got 25 in this monthly savings tracker, which is from the Budgeting Sisters, and it's on our Etsy shop, which is Budgeting Sisters Shop on Etsy. You can go purchase that over there. Same with this next challenge. I'm hesitating because I do have a bunch of change and a bunch of other things in my dish. So let's see how much we have in change. Oh, sorry for all the noise outside. I think a house like three doors down is getting a new roof and it's been super crazy. Three, four, five, ten, forty, two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, so we have three sixty two. I put all my change for this challenge into my Valentine's Day bucket which is not supposed to be a piggy bank. You're supposed to put your kid's Valentine's cards in it. Probably like sit it on their school desk or something. But if you've watched my channel for any length of time, I love different random buckets and piggy banks. All right, so we had 362. So we will color in the 322 and then we will also color in the 273 and put in $3. I have probably said this to you all many, many times, but I love small savings challenges, but I love the rewards of big savings challenges. 
So it's definitely a, a constant battle with me because I need the accomplishment. I need to finish savings challenges. This one is also from the Budgeting Sisters. Um, so I have a hard time when I have a couple big savings challenges and I have other savings challenges that are big that I would love to do. But if I am sinking so much money, this is also the Budgeting Sisters. If I am putting so much money into big savings challenges every week, then my little ones aren't going to get done and I won't be making any progress on my debt. So it's a constant battle with me to find the even amount of smalls, large, middle numbered, so many options. And um, money is tight the next month or two. So you might see the amounts get smaller, but at least we're putting something in. This savings challenge was a freebie. Keep going, Lilo. From Budget with Pepper and Poppy. And this is the third one of that series, of their circus series. So we put $5 in there. This is a new one from the Budgeting Sisters. It's a three set. Lilo, stop. We're gonna start with roll the dice. And we got a three. So we will put in three and write three right there. We have come out with some great savings challenges on our Etsy shop. Let me see. All right, now we gotta get into my binder here. All right, Every Dime Counts is from Mandy's Budgeting Journey. And we will just put in, not just, but we will put in um, $2. So we'll do the one, the 90, and the 10. I love this savings challenge because it's little amounts. It's by dimes, so every 10 cents. And when you do the whole page, it's $55. So it definitely shows you that little amounts add up. Now I made this dashboard, but we've got five, six, seven, eight dollars in there so far. All right, up next should be Captain America. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Captain America this week is going to get $2. Captain America is from Fairy Rose Cottage. And it's a $150 savings challenge. And this savings challenge is for my grandsons, for anything I want to buy them. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. So we are halfway there. Up next is Easter. And this is a savings challenge from the Budgeting Sisters. And for this one, we are gonna color in the crosses. There are 10 crosses, so we will do them $2 a piece. 
and we will color in one cross. And then if we have money left over afterwards, we'll go back through again. But I wanted to make sure that everything got a little bit of money. All right. Up next is Blessed to be a Blessing. And this one is from the Almost Organized Owl. And this one I do a little different. Um, I kind of do this one in honor, in memory. I don't know what you want to call it, of my mother. My mother used to love to bless people when they were in need. So this savings challenge is um, I'm going to use the money to bless someone or some organization with food or payment for medical bill. So in this is a bracelet that I got with my mom's name on it a couple days before she passed away. And this is a piggy bank that I got off from Timo that I am keeping all of the money in. So we are up to $9 so far. This is gonna save us $60. And this was a freebie, I believe, on the Almost Organized Owl. Up next is just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. This is from Fairy Rose Cottage on Etsy and Loving Life at 60-ish on YouTube. And each one of these little cats are a dollar. So we will color in a couple here. One, two, How about four dollars? Now, unless I have said a savings challenge is going to something different, all of my savings challenges, I'm gonna put in a five and take out a four. Uh, take out a one, sorry. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All of my savings challenges in today's video. Uh, besides blessed to be a blessing is going towards my debt snowball except for the one going to my grandsons also but um, debt snowball is where all of my savings challenges really go or my emergency fund whichever one is needing it uh, we will color in another five I like to get out the big ones. This is Jolly Holiday by Fairy Rose Cottage on Etsy. And we should have 15, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Up next, I added this one this week. And I called this Fairy Godmothers, but I don't even know if that's what they are. But that's all right. Um, this week, we are going to color in the... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We will color in... We will start out coloring in the two. I have a couple bigger, save, I have at least one more big savings challenge that I want to give to today. So 
All right, so we'll start that one off with $2. And that's it for the book. This one is uh, Save 24, 24 times in 2024. So what I do is I do 12 at a time and color in one of the letters or numbers, I mean. So we will color in this two and put in $12. This savings challenge is from the Budgeting Sisters. You get the envelope version or the A6 card version. We already have 24 in here. So we have 5, 10, oops, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 dollars. So it looks like, let's see. I think I did this the last video too. 24 times 24 equals 576. So that means I actually have three big savings challenges. This one is 750. This one is 667. And then this one is 576. That is a lot of big savings challenges. All right, this savings challenge Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. Proverbs 31, 25. This one is from the Budgeting Sisters, and we are going to start off with $3. And we will color in a 2 and a 1. And this is in our Etsy shop. And it is an envelope. I just did mine on regular paper, but it would definitely hold up better on um, cardstock. All right, let's do G Bucks. I have one G Buck that I set aside this week, so we will color in the, the G. This savings challenge is from Donna Powered by Creativity. And G-Bucks go to my grandson. So this whole page will bring $100. So we are almost halfway there or about halfway there. So that's great. So let's see what we have left. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 dollars. Okay. Let's do another 5 in this. And what I do on big savings challenges is I do the smaller amounts and then combine them and move them to the larger amounts, which is why I laminate bigger savings challenges. Um, I don't like to laminate because it makes a glare in the videos, but it's easier to just wipe off and move to the higher numbers when I want to do that. All right, the penny challenge. We're going to do the 175. And put in $2. This one is probably going to be over because I'm constantly like rounding the change and those things. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. We got $6. Let me see. Let's do another cross. They are two dollars. One, two. Because Easter is 
coming. And you know, I'm going to get something for my grandson and probably something little for my daughter that lives with me. All right, we got $4 left. Oh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Do, 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 do. Four dollars. All right, let's jump back into this and we will do another dollar in every dime counts. I'm definitely uh, spreading this $4 <laughs> across as much as possible. gonna do that or that all right let's finish this row of hocus pocus one two three so we will put that into hocus pocus let's see how much Hocus Pocus has. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. And it's going to bring 35. So we are getting closer to halfway. All right. That was an interesting uh, spend of was it $73? I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Budgeting Sisters and comment below um, how you're doing on your savings challenges and on your 2024 goals. Bye!